Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Headstrong. My name is Lane. This is a Madden 18 career mode using Leonard Fournette. We are in week 14 of the NFL season. We are playing against the 8-4 Seattle Seahawks. We're 8-4, so let's hop right in, try to get a win here. Here we go. As always, we are starting off this game with an inside zone to the left side. I cannot explain it. I literally cannot explain why they want to do this play. First play every single week. It makes no sense whatsoever. I don't know how it's going to be running on this team. I mean, not, we got, what, five yards, four yards, three yards? Nothing about that made sense whatsoever. Now, last week, we ran for 285 yards against the Indianapolis Colts, and we only won the game 17-13. to 13. It was a strange, strange game. So it's third and three, 514 left in the first quarter. Here we go. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Who is that? Not exactly the way I saw this game starting out. I thought we were going to, you know, somewhat get downfield, at least kick a field goal, not be 7 nothing with three minutes left in the first. Now, Seattle isn't known to having this great offense. They used to be somewhat good when they had Marshawn Lynch, but then they lost Marshawn Lynch and then... It just seemed like they kind of fell off because Russell Wilson isn't as good as he seems to be, at least in my opinion. Who is he throwing it to? Their defense, on the other hand, that's obviously their strong point. Although this season, they didn't make the playoffs, probably because all their players got injured. I mean, Richard Sherman got injured. It was either Earl Thomas or Cam Chancellor. I think it was Cam Chancellor, if I remember correctly. They have a great defensive line. They have uh, Michael Bennett. They have Sheldon Richardson. Get a first down! But it's going to just get tougher and tougher for that team. They obviously have... Next to no offensive line. I don't know why they traded their only good offensive lineman for Jimmy Graham. Because I, there's just like that. Your offensive line is one of the most important. Uh, you can't say positions because there's five positions, but like one of the most important parts on a football team. We need to get this playoff soon. Soon, thank you. No, 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 no. I had no chance. I had nowhere to go. They just let the guy just come right on through. Come just, come just tackle me. What's the worst that happens? Let's cut out here. Yeah, you're not going to throw me the ball, are you? You're not going to throw me the ball. Oh, he gained yards. I thought he lost them. Now, we're both 8-4. Now, I'm in a very, very tough decision. Obviously, Seattle's in a tough decision. I don't know. Or decision. Division. I don't know how it is in this video game. Obviously, the Rams in real life got to the playoffs. Seattle did not. San Francisco's on the rise with Jimmy G. He's not going to throw me the ball. Nope. And then, obviously, the Cardinals, the Carson Palmer retiring now. That does not matter whatsoever. Oh, we got a first down. I think... If the 49ers make some good moves in the offseason, draft some good players, which what they, they should have had a lot higher. I think personally within maybe even next year, if the 49ers make some good free agent signings, if maybe they can trade for a player or two, if they actually use their draft picks, which should have been a lot higher, but then they put Jimmy G in and now he's playing out of his mind. I think they could be in the playoffs like next year. Because obviously the Cardinals aren't going to be anybody because they don't have a they don't have a quarterback unless they trade up and get one of these quarterbacks in the draft. And you don't even know honestly what they're going to be. And then you got the Rams, who they, in theory, they should come back and play the same. Oh, I'm not even in this play, but I'm going to finish this thought. They should come back and play as well as they did, and then Seattle should be able to make the playoffs. So I could see the 49ers maybe getting the second place in their division. And then, where are you going, Blake Bortles? Okay, I guess that's going to work. They could maybe get second place, maybe get a wild card in their, uh, their division. I don't know, though. It's going to be very interesting to watch. I like how Blake Bortles didn't even think about, like, scanning the field, seeing if anybody was going to be open, see if the play was going to develop. He just, he just ran. He just ran. I mean, the Jaguars are going to play the Patriots this weekend. I guess that puts a, puts a time on when I'm recording this. I'm recording this on the Wednesday before the AFC Championship game where it's going to be Patriots-Jaguars. I think the Patriots are going to blow them out of the water. So if I'm wrong, you can come back to this, which this will... No, this won't come back. This is going to come out the week after, I believe, if I, if I remember correctly, if I know how I, I upload my videos. So it should come out the week after that. So then I guess we'll know who's in the, the Super Bowl by then. Easy. So you can just make fun of me down in the comments below. But like, hi, you said the Jaguars are going to lose, but they kicked the Patriots' ass, even though I, I can't honestly figure out a reason how that will happen or a way that's going to happen. Blake Bortles running again. Three rushes for 30 yards. Yeah, right. But Blake Bortles is such a bad quarterback. He proves it in this game. He proves it in real life. Brady has more passing attempts. Or maybe it's completions. One or the other than Blake Bortles in just the one playoff game than Blake Bortles and had both of his playoff games put together. So that's kind of really, really bad. What do we get to the one yard line? We're getting in this end zone right now. This is going to be a close, close game. I'm thinking it's going to be like probably like last week against the Colts, 17-13. Something along those lines. Let's see if we can get in right now. Yo, that's a big, big hole. Get in there. Touchdown, Lennon Fournette. That is going to make it 7-7 as long as they can make the extra point. 
Whew, that's what we needed to see. They get the ball after halftime, though, so we're going to have to make a stop, put up some more points before they get the ball back. Good, 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 good. It is 7-7, 2-12 left in the half. We have all three timeouts. So a, a few first downs, a few good timeouts. We'll be able to kick a field goal, make it 10-7 heading into halftime. That is going to be the goal for now, at least in my point of view. I'm just the running back, and I just do things like this. Oh, no way. No way. I thought the guy coming from the right side of the screen was going to be my guy, so I was getting ready to make a juke move, and I probably could have taken off and scored easy. Now we're in such good position. We're already in field goal range. We have all three timeouts. We have so much time we can just waste before giving them the ball back. We cannot let them score before halftime. It's pretty much what I'm trying to say. It's so bad. The Patriots do it all the time. They'll score before halftime. They'll get the ball back. They'll score again. And it's just like, wasn't it a tie game? And now we're down by two scores. Like, what the hell happened? So we're doing the HB screen. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Go, 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 dive. Oh, it didn't let me dive. I was trying, though. Why are you waving off the clock? So we are on the three-yard line. And we are going to try to score right here, right now. I know I wanted to waste so much more time than this. But when they just let me take off, no matter what, I guess I'm going to have to take the points when I can get them. Ah, uh, cut to the right, cut to the right, get through that hole, dive! Back down to the one yard line. We have 11 rushes, 64 yards, and a touchdown. I think we already pretty much have the MVP locked up, plus the rookie of the year. Forgot to even mention that. Maybe for season two, I am going to switch characters after this for one season and then come back to this. But maybe we'll up the difficulty from pro to all pro. I don't know how honestly I'll play in that, so that's kind of why I just stick to pro. But let's even get in right here. Touchdown! Leonard Fournette, baby. Good, 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 good. It is 14 to 10, four minutes left in the third quarter. So they marched downfield pretty easily. They obviously ate up two minutes of the clock, but they could not get into that end zone. Kind of sums up Seattle, at least in my point of view, without having a beast mode. So let's see if we can go beast mode. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Spam move. Oh, oh, he actually got through him. Ah, but he, he can't recover that quick. 16 rushes, 94 yards, and two touchdowns. So in second and two, it looks like we're going to run to the right side. Let's even get this first down. Cut in, cut in, cut in, cut in. There we go, first down. The thing about Seattle, though, is it seems right when they gave Russell Wilson that big contract, it kind of, like, like with every team, it takes away all the, the salary cap space. They can't really do anything, and then they just fall apart a little bit. You would throw it to me. Why would you even throw it to me there? Sometimes I just I just wonder what Blake Bortles sees. And there was, oh, is it Trent Dilfer? I think it was Trent Dilfer on ESPN, or maybe he's on an ESPN. He might be on Fox. I don't know exactly what he's on. He was talking down Blake Bortles a lot, being like, I think he's one of the worst quarterbacks I've ever seen. He's like, I wasn't a great quarterback, but he's so much worse than me. And it's just like, God damn. Be nice to the guy. Ooh, push him, push him. I'm still on my feet. How on earth am I still on my feet? Third and six. We need to get some points on the board here. I do not want to give them back the ball. The last drive, like I said, they marched downfield pretty easily. So I don't know what they're going to do this if they get the chance. Come on. He's not going to throw it to me. He's. You did throw it to me. You threw it also right to the other team. Good job, Blake Bortles. Good job. So they scored a touchdown but then missed the extra point. So we're only down by two, technically. It's 16-14, a minute left in the third quarter. We're doing the play action end around. I wish it was a minute left in the game because then I would easily – you better what, – what are you What are you doing? How am I supposed to catch that? In between plays, uh, Leonard Fournette was like, oh, he was like so mad and all this. And I don't know why he's mad. There was nothing you could have done better there. So it's second and 10, 57 seconds left. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, no. No, no, no. Is it bad that I'm wishing this season with Leonard Fournette would be over? Because I cannot stand watching Blake Bortles play football. On the, the play after that second down that I ran, it was third and something. This guy was wide open. Wide open. And then Blake Bortles overthrew him by like 10 feet. It was so unbelievable. Come on, get these yards. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Make that block. Make that block. Somebody. Anybody on this team make a block. Now, we're kind of in prime position to use up a lot of clock and then kick a field goal. So it's first and 10, 435 left in the game. I mean, if we get a first down, if there's not just all this room to run, we're going to waste so much time here. So let's see what we can do. Come on. Why doesn't anybody block? Nobody blocks. I could see it now. 
I can totally see it now. We're going to be down there. We're about to score some points, and then Blake Bortles is going to throw an interception, and then we're going to lose the game. Or Blake Bortles is going to overthrow some guy, and then we're going to lose the game. So let's see which one it's going to be. You better not throw me the ball. Why? Do, what am I doing? I'm not even. It's not even letting me control my guy. All this trash I was talking like we got plenty of time. We're going to go downfield. We're going to kick a field goal. Whatever I get cocky, it just blows up in my face. So third and nine. Here we go. You didn't throw it to me, but did you get the first down? All right, he got the first down. So there's 251 left. We're not in field goal range, obviously. You can obviously tell that. I don't have to tell you that. So we need another 40 or 50 yards. We do have all three of our timeouts, so we can pretty much waste this whole quarter. Oh, why do you let Michael Bennett get off the edge like that? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Why don't you block your guys? I know Michael Bennett's good. He's a little bit of a liar, in my opinion, but he's still good. Like, just, just block you guys. That's all I ask from you guys, just to make you blocks. Let's get the yards we need to get like that. That will be a first down. That should be a first down. What are you going to tell me? Third and inches, you would. We're obviously in four down territory, so if we don't get the first down here, they should, I mean, I, I don't have control over that. So they should make us go for it on fourth down. I think we'll be able to get this. We're doing the ISO play or the HB drive right up the drive. HB dive right up the middle. So we should be able to get the first down and apparently a lot more. We are right on the edge of field goal range. We need a, probably another 10 to 15 yards. They, they might have to start calling timeouts if we get a first down here, I would assume. Let's cut it inside there. Yes. Do we call a timeout? I don't think we would. I don't think there would really be a necessity for us to call a timeout. Not yet. Maybe after this play, we get a completion that doesn't get us the first down, but we shall see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You don't even give me a chance. Blake Bortles, all I'm asking for you is to just throw good passes. We don't have to catch them all. They don't have to be on target every time, but get them in our, like, near us, in our vicinity, anything like that. So it's third and eight. This is the play they drew up. Don't really understand it. I guess maybe they'll go to Lee. They're probably going to go to Hearns, realistically. That's not even to me. That's not even to me. They gave me the chance to catch it, but they just threw it to them. Why? It's so annoying to lose because of that guy. Not because of anything I did. I didn't fumble it. I didn't run a bad road. I didn't do anything like that. It's because my quarterback just throws it to the other team. Just, just like that. Just throws it right to the other team. Who cares? Whoa. -ho -ho. So we lost 16 to 14. So we are now 8-5, but let's check out the stats. Blake Bortles, 4 for 10, 68 yards, 2 interceptions. That is god-awful. Russell Wilson went 13 for 18, 126, 2 touchdowns, not too shabby. We went 25 rushes, 142 yards, and the 2 touchdowns of the game for our team. Rawls had 68 yards, that's not bad. Wilson had 31, Bortles, 32. Uh, Doug Baldwin with four catches, 27 yards, a touchdown. Jimmy Graham, three for 10 with a touchdown. J Jermaine Curse. I was going to say Javon Curse. Jermaine Curse, three catches, 58 yards. Anybody else that I really want to talk about? Leonard Fournette, one catch of 25 yards, but no. Nothing to really talk about there. Blake Bortles blew the game for us, but that is going to be it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a like down below. Make sure to check out my channel. Subscribe for daily Madden 18 content, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.